Hi there! Welcome to another video of Sir Bry. Nandito ka ngayon sa Business Mathematics at ang ating pag-aaralan sa video na ito ay tungkol sa Mark On. Ano nga ba ang Mark On? Mark On is a temporary markup on certain products to take advantage of high demands. So, ang Mark On ay parati nating nakikita tuwing peak season. Ito yung temporary markup. Temporary na idinadagdag tuwing peak season. Halimbawa, kapag New Year, di ba, ang mga paputok ay nagmamahal. Pero kapag naman hindi peak season, ay talaga namang mababa ang presyo nito. Ganun din kapag Valentine's Day. Tumataas ang price na mga chocolates, bears, mga stuffed toys, roses, and other stuff related to gift to your loved one. Tumataas silang lahat. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na mark on. Paano computein ang mark on? Merong dalawang formula na pwede tayong gamitin for us to compute the mark on. The first formula is mark on is equal to mark on percentage times current selling price. And then the second formula, mark on is equal to new selling price minus current selling price. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan ang dalawang formula, let us dig deeper using these examples. First example, it's December and firecrackers are now in high demand. A department store currently sells it at 200 pesos, applies 20% mark on for the item. Find the new selling price. So kung makikita natin, may keyword tayo ng high demand. Therefore, we are looking for a mark on. Ang given natin, ay yung current selling price niya, which is 200 pesos, at yung mark on percentage, which is 22%. At ang gusto nating hanapin ay yung new selling price. So, paano natin siya gagawin? I-enumerate muna natin lahat ng given. So, we have now the CSP or the current selling price, which is 200 pesos. And then we have the mark on percentage, which is 22%. And then we were going to look for the mark on in order for us to find the new selling price. So, you utilize natin yung parehong formula. Sisimula natin yun sa first formula. Bakit? Kasi, again, kagaya sa markup, given yung mark on percentage. So, substituting our values we're going to have now, mark on is equal to 0.22 times 200. If we're going to calculate it, we're going to get 44 pesos. Therefore, our mark on is 44 pesos. Now, in order for us to find our new selling price, we're going to substitute our mark on and our current selling price in order for us to find the new selling price. Now, we have 44 is equal to NSP minus 200. Using the equality property, we're going to transpose this negative 200 to the other side of the equation. That will be 200 plus 44. Therefore, our new selling price is 244 pesos. Problem solved. Now, for our second example under mark on, flowers which sells at 1,500 pesos per bouquet is at high demand because of Valentine's Day. The company decided to put a 30% mark on. How much is the new selling price? Kagaya ng solution natin kanina, ang hinahanap ay yung new selling price. At ang given natin ay yung current selling price 
and yung mark-on percentage. So, lista natin yan. We have now the current selling price, which is 1,500. And then the mark-on percentage, which is 30%. And we're going to look for the mark on in order for us to find the new selling price. Again, ang una natin i-utilize na formula ay yung merong mark on percentage. Substituting all the values that we have, we have now the mark on is equal to 0.30 times 1,500, which yields to 450 pesos. Now that we know that our mark on is 450 pesos, we can now proceed in finding the new selling price. Using this formula, we're going to substitute all the values that we have necessary to this formula. The mark on is 450, the new selling price is unknown, and the current selling price is 1,500. Using the equality property, we can now transpose this negative 1,500 to the other side of the equation, giving us 1,500 plus 450, which is the new selling price. Adding the two numbers, we're going to have 1,950 pesos. Therefore, our new selling price is 1,950 pesos. Problem solved. Now let's move to the last example. New Year's Eve is approaching. Lazaro Company is currently selling basket of fruits for 500 pesos each and decided to put a 30% mark on during the peak season. How much is the new selling price of the fruit basket? So again, ang hinahanap natin ay yung new selling price. Tapos, binigyan tayo ng mark on percentage at yung current selling price ng basket of fruits. Lista ulit natin yan. We have now the given. Our CSP or the current selling price is 500 pesos. And then our mark on percentage is 30%. Therefore, we're going to look for the mark on and the new selling price. Again, ang una natin gagamitin na formula ay yung merong mark on percentage. Substituting all the values, we're going to have mark on is equal to 0.30 times 500, giving us 150 pesos. Now that we already know what the mark on is, we can now substitute it to the formula. Therefore, we have 150 is equal to the new selling price minus 500. Let us transpose negative 500 to the other side of the equation, yielding us to 500 plus 150. Therefore, our new selling price is 650 pesos. Problem solved.